Hello everyone, this is Jaded Truth, and I wanted to sit here and talk to you about these wonderful, lovely toys we have called cell phones. And yes, you are seeing it right. You are looking at a cell phone that went up in flames. And you're probably asking, how did that happen? And I was wondering the same thing too. Hmm. But you know, the funny thing is, that most of us can't live without these these cell phones. Um, you should check out a little video that I posted a, a, a while back called Our Sad New Reality. Okay. Um, these cell phones can be very dangerous. And in this situation, it was extremely dangerous. As you can see, it damn near burnt up everything over here in the area. Um, I did the smart thing that uh, when I was here, it, as it went up in flames, I decided to toss it into the sink, as you can see. That way, I could protect the rest of the surrounding area. Um, understand that many of us have these cell phones on our dressers, nightstands, um, under our pillow while we sleep, in our back pocket, our front pockets. Uh, some ladies put it in the top of their sh shirts, um, uh, um, <clears throat> next to their chest. And they don't realize that not only do these phones emit radiation uh, at higher frequencies, but they can also catch on fire. Okay. Now this is the note nine. Okay. It's a galaxy note nine. As you can see, it completely went up in flames. I'm just going to show you. And yes, it was the battery. The battery just went up and set the whole thing on fire. Now, I've had this phone for about, um, I would say, a good seven months, eight months. Okay. And um, I don't think this should have happened. You know, I'm going to reach out to Samsung. I'm sure they're not really going to do anything. Um, they're not going to refund me my money, of course. Um, they're not going to give me another phone you know probably not um however if this happens to your phone maybe we could start a class action lawsuit you know it's not the first time their batteries went up in flames i recall several years back it happened on one of their other uh galaxy phones uh, several of them were having issues with the batteries so just keep it in mind that you may want to protect yourself um, by shutting your phone off when you're not using it, um, not overcharging your phone. And of course, I didn't have this phone overcharged. Um, you know, you're not going to want to sleep with the phone under your pillow, sleep with it next to you. You know, all these little things that we do, you may want to stop and think about that now. Uh, this could have burned my house down, to be honest with you. You know, it was sitting right here on the counter where it is next to the rest of our stuff. So all this could have went up in flames. This is perfumes and makeups and all this other stuff. All that would have went up in flames and it would have burnt all this down. So please keep this in mind. When you have this technology next to you, these batteries and, and all this, these elements that they put into the phone um, are, are very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, flammable, okay? extremely flammable so whatever it was inside that battery <laughs> that went off and i have no idea but whatever it was i'm just happy i was here when it happened because if not i'm sure i would have came down or i would have came back home to a burned down crisp house and granted i do have insurance which is great but still the memories and everything i have with inside the house would have been gone all the photographs, you know, all the pictures, you know, the music, um, everything that we have here would have been completely gone. 
So please keep it in mind when you have this technology, make sure you start shutting your stuff off. Make sure you're not overcharging it. Make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do to protect yourself as well as uh, the things in your home. Because if you don't, nobody else will. And then you'll be between a rock and a hard place. And you really don't want that. You know, we spend a lot of money on all this materialistic crap. You know, I'm going to tell you how much I spent for this phone. For this phone right here, I spent the grand. $1,000 on this phone. And it lasted me seven months. Now it's gone. It's burnt to a crisp. Don't know why. But I'll tell you what I am going to do. I am going to write that letter and send an email. Do whatever I can to find out if, if my phone is the first one that did it. You know, this shouldn't have happened at all. Now, I didn't buy this from, I didn't buy this particular phone from a phone carrier. I bought it on Amazon. Um, But even though I bought it on Amazon, it was still a brand new phone inside the box. Okay. So this still shouldn't have happened. It is a genuine Samsung Note 9. So... Understand that these phones are dangerous at times. So just be careful. Keep an eye on your phone. Um, I noticed some of the older phones I had, they used to get hot. And some of them still do get hot. If they are getting hot, you may want to try to cool your phone down. Or maybe even just shut it off for a while. Again, protect yourself. These phones are, are nice. They're good little gadgets. You take them with you wherever you go. When you get bored, you pull it out, you pop up a little app, you play a little game, uh, you do word searches, playing Tetris, playing little army men games, sniper games. Um, You're playing Candy Crush and other little games like that, Pokemon. All these little games are great. You're doing FaceTime. um, You're making phone calls. um, you're, You're reading PDF files, reading books, listening to audio. Yes, it's great. But again, protect yourself. This shouldn't happen to you. It shouldn't have happened to me, but it did. And I'm just glad once again that I was here to help put the fire out before it got worse than what it was. The flame technically shot about three feet high off the countertop. It looked like one of those Piccolo Pete's, if you know what that is. Of course, if you ever use the Piccolo Pete during Fourth of July. So, yeah, it looked like a Piccolo Pete. It sounded just like a Piccolo Pete. And I mean, I, I wish I could have recorded, you know, the, the whole the whole scene. But of course, I couldn't. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Please be safe. And uh, hopefully this doesn't happen to your phone. As you can see, it's all burnt up. And unfortunately, I have to get another phone. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I'm posting some other videos on my channel. I think I just posted one called uh, Stairway of Disbelief. That is a great video. Please listen to it. And uh, I'll be posting another one. And that one's going to be very controversial. It's been posted for a little while now. Uh, it will be age restricted. But yeah, those of us who are, are grown, <laughs> uh, please take a look at it. And just keep an open mind. That's all I can say. You guys have a great night. And um, have a good one. Jada Truth out.